Today I want to share with you this clip of Chinese journalist absolutely destroying the UN spokesperson. Now he's going to question the spokesperson whether the occupation of Syria by the UN armed forces is illegal or not. Now I have a lot to say about this topic, but before I get to my comments, let me show you what actually happened. But do you think the presence of the U.S. military in Syria is is illegal or not? Uh, that that's not an issue that uh, that uh, we're we're dealing with at this stage. There's been a war. But uh, is that is that there, there's because there, it, there's it sounds very familiar. This week we talk a lot about the UN Charter, the the the, the international law, and relative resolutions. But it, it sounds to me a foreign foreign presence, foreign military based presence in another country without invitation, sounds like sounds like something else to me. You know. Uh, I'll I'll leave your analysis to you. Uh, that the, the, there's there's uh, at at this stage. What's the what's the difference at, at between, stage, between the, Syria, there's, there's no, the situation in Syria, and the situation in Ukraine? There's no U.S. armed forces inside mm -hmm. of Syria, uh, and so uh, so I don't have a. It, it's it's not uh, a you, parallel you, situation. You're, you're to sure some of the there's no there's no U.S. U.S. military. I, I believe there's military activity, yeah. uh, but uh, but uh, but uh, in terms of ground presence in Syria, I'm not aware of that. Okay, five U.S. service members were injured in that attack. If there's no, there were no U.S. soldier service members in Syria, how could they got injured? Uh, That's weird, right? Should I ask yeah. you about that? I do not think the spokesperson UN. International Criminal Court and all these institutions that are heavily biased towards the West. I do not think they realize that they are not hurting us, they are not hurting Syria, and they are not hurting anyone else but their own credibility. By you acting as if what the US and what Israel is doing in Syria by occupying their land, Israel have actually already annexed some of the Syrian lands. And these people are acting as if it's totally normal. If you are not going to stand up to what countries are doing to Syria, what France is doing in Mali, and all these things that the Western countries are doing in the rest of the world, when you stand up to China, Russia, or any other country, it's going to be meaningless. Let me give you an example when it comes to international criminal courts. Some African countries have already left it. South Africa is now talking about leaving. They are going to leave. In 5 to 10 years, none of the African countries are going to be part of the International Criminal Court because they know that International Criminal Court, like Mugabe used to say, the African Gang Guru Court, only exists to punish poorer countries that cannot defend their own leaders. So your hypocrisy is evident and your hypocrisy is only hurting your own credibility and this man has the nerve to stand there and say that there's not a war and they're not occupying their land there's no military presence when it's clear that they are there they're occupying the oil fields they're selling syrian oil it's clear it's well documented so when you then talk about russia why should we care Instead of saying that this is illegal, he starts to play games, word games, like, hey, it's not actually the same because there's no military presence, it's a war activity. What does war activity mean? Is it war games? Are they practicing there? It's a military activity? Okay, and what does the Russians say when it comes to Ukraine? It's a special military operation, it's not a war. It's the same thing. If you're not going to define illegal acts of war as an illegal act of war, no matter who does it, well then what's the point of defining this and not defining that? And it's actually sad, because currently the world is fragmenting. We're going to enter into a multipolar world, and in that world we need institutions like UN, we need institutions like ICC to actually be unbiased and to say hey what this guy is doing wrong and when this guy is doing wrong to call it evenly we're going to need you and more than we've ever needed them before but if they continue down this road they are going to become completely obsolete and no one is going to care about what you are talking about now that's my opinion now let me know what you think on the comments below and please do remember to subscribe like share and comment